Now, away from that, the Ghana Highways Authority in Volta region is actively addressing the havoc caused by speed calming devices aiming to remove both engineered and illegal ramps from major roads. The Volta Regional Director of the Authority emphasized the need for strict enforcement of laws to deter residents from erecting unauthorized speed ramps. City News' Desmond Selassie Agro provides insights. Ghana Highways Authority regulates speed ramps to prevent accidents, yet illegal construction without proper signage persists, contributing to accidents nationwide. The unauthorized ramps lack necessary warnings for drivers, leading to various accidents. In an interview with City News, Volta Regional Director of the Authority, Aminu Isaka Abubakar revealed that illegal speed ramps contribute to road defects and increase fatalities. The biggest enemy of our roads of, of road in general is water and the traffic that comes on the road. So as much as possible, the road should be always free from water. So when the road is being designed, we consider longitudinal slope of the road and the transverse slope of the road. That's where we have a camber. When the road, when the water, uh, when it rains, it should be able to flow both sides and the road will be free from that. But when we have the unengineered one, it becomes like a trap for water. All these things have not been done. Longitudinal it goes, and uh, when they do it, you can see even the sides, there's still some lumps of sand, uh, uh, soil left there, so it collects water. And uh, as we have the asphalt exposed to the sand, there's heat, and there is a wet period where Changes in temperature and the activities on the road create some cracks. Normally, those cracks, if there should be regular funding, there should be sealing of those cracks in different there are means of it. Overlay is one of it. There are some other things when there's, there are fine line cracks that can be sealed. So at one there's even water, and the water will stay for just some time and drains off. There will be no effect. But now the cracks will be there. It collects the water. So you could see that all these unengineered ones, mostly the, when the portal starts around it, just in front and the back of it, you see that that area becomes very, very bad. And when the portal starts, you see that in a very short time it becomes, it, it starts degenerating. So it gives us more portals calling for more money to be spent there. And mostly you see that they always do this on the very good roads, because roads which are bad, there will be no need for those speed coming devices or anything to do the speed. The authority, along with an interministerial committee, is actively working to remove all speed calming devices countrywide. He issued a stern warning against illegal installations, advocating for stringent sanctions for offenders. One of the major uh, causes of the accident is the speed calming devices that we have on the highways over speeding not even uh, uh this is over speeding but uh, we have some movement vehicular movements where uh, you come across and even an engineered uh, speed coming device like the the humps that we have and the speed tables sometimes they throw off the vehicles and uh, that has been actually, uh, that would, would not have even needed have to be there if the, the behavior of the road users are within the safety requirements. Ghana Highways Authorities here in the Volta region is advising residents living close to major highways to desist from erecting illegal speed ramps as this is causing more deaths than preventing it. Reporting for City News. I'm Desmond Salasiago.